Howdy, folks. How we doing? Good to see you. What's up, Brody? I think I've seen you over on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. Thanks for joining over here. Appreciate you. Um, so we're back. It's been a great day for me today. Um, I had the day off from work because... Howdy! What's up, JJ? Um, because we had the solar eclipse today. And we, where, like, where I live, we were in the path of totality, so we were able to get, like, a really, really awesome view of the eclipse in all of its glory. It was amazing. It was so, so cool. It, like, became nighttime for, like, a minute. It was the coolest thing ever. Loved it. It's bright again now. As you can see, it was so, so, so awesome. Um, let's do a little team recap here. Um... We got Tech, the Skarmory, that's our newest addition to the team, really just using Fly. Rupert Grunt, the Heracross, got that black belt on. Margo, the Dun Sparse, rocking that headbutt. Sinai Quill, the Quilava, getting close to its final form. It finally got that Flame Wheel. Pampras, the Lapras, killing things with Surf. And our newly evolved Lucius, the Espeon, which I'm so, so happy about. Um, I will get a psychic move on that in due time. So that's very exciting. One thing that I'm going to do, really what I wanted to start with on this stream was I wanted to get into some trainers that we have not yet defeated. Um, I think we have a ball. Oh, nope. I don't have any apricorns, Kurt. Kurt. Ain't got no apricorn, Kurt. Uh, you thought Scammer was Gen 3. Scammer, what do you mean? Um, but uh, we're gonna get into this. Oh, so do you mean scanner? Like the old uh, in the abandoned ship? Let's see. We're gonna get in here and fight some trainers that we did not see. Or, sorry, not did not see, um, did not fight. Because if you recall, we came down here when we picked up Lapras and we fought a couple of these trainers and we like really almost wiped to them. <laughs> they were like destroying us. Um, so we are going to pop in and get those trainers that we couldn't defeat before. I feel like I have the items that you can find in here. Yeah, I got that one. But yeah. Did anyone else see the eclipse? I thought it was super, super awesome. I think it really is like kind of a once in a lifetime thing. It was so, so cool to see in real life. It felt like super trippy. And it really got me thinking a lot about the sun. It's crazy, the sun. Like, it's so far away. Oh, it'll happen again in 20 years? Oh, still still really cool. The sun is just far enough away that we don't burn to death and just close enough that we don't freeze to death. It's wonderful. Skarmory. So sorry, Brody. Um, dude, that is a super common misconception. Um, because Skarmory can be found on the route south of Blackthorn City. It's a really rare encounter. Um, and in Gen 3, you can find it pretty easily, and it's much more, like, available and seen, um, in Generation 3. Oh, this is bad. I should have swapped out. Um, but yeah, it's actually a Gen 2 Pokemon. A lot of people thought that. Um, okay, good. I thought we were getting it burned. Uh, but yeah, Skarmory is just really rare in this game, um... So that a lot of people didn't see it. A lot of people thought the same for Slugma. Um, because you don't see Slugma until the post-game of this game. So, yeah. They made a lot of weird... They did a lot of weird things. Like, one thing I talk about is the integration of Kanto and Johto. I've talked about that a lot. And I like a lot of it, but I think they went overboard with it in some in some places, like, 
making the Johto Pokemon not really available, like, at all. Um, or making them very rare or kind of, like, just not easy to find. Heracross is a great example. Like, a lot of kids would have been, like, headbutton trees just to no avail, even if they knew that they needed to find Heracross in a headbutt tree. Um, it's also great that we have that there. Uh, amulet coin on Skarmory. So down there is where we would find Lapras, but we have ours already. Um, also, somebody in the comments, if you're watching this later or anything, just let me know, can you find Lapras on other Fridays, or can you only find it once? I'm pretty sure you can find it on other Fridays. Um, But yeah, this guy just has all the Kanto starters. I always remember him being down here. Like, there's someone with all the evolutions and someone with all the Kanto starters down here. It's pretty neat. Just kind of speeding through these a little bit. Oh, nice crit, Skarmory. Crit right through that withdraw. And then finally, Bulbasaur. This will be the easiest of all. Good to see. Um, but yeah. Skarmory was super rare. I think I was just really aware of Skarmory because, well, one, in if anyone played Pokemon Gold, you can't catch Skarmory in that game. Um, like, at all. It's not available. And then, I was a Pokemon Silver player, so I knew that Skarmory existed. Um, I'll just use another repel real quick. And I was a big... Um, collector of the cards at that point in my life. Um, and there was a really great Skarmory in Neo Genesis. So that was wonderful. Okay. So that clears out those trainers in there. Finally, finally strong enough to defeat them. We have... Oh, hey! Thanks for following! Um, but, uh, we... Really, the only trainers we have left to clear in Johto at this point are some of these trainers south of Blackthorn City. And we are totally going to do that. Um, something that I might do is I might pour some experience into um, Pampras here. Because I would love to see... Ooh, I'm burping, sorry. I would love to see Pampras get to level 36. Um because that is when Lapras is going to learn Ice Beam. And not only is that one of the best moves in the game, that is an amazing move for Claire, the Dragon Gym Leader coming up. And one thing that they do that's very kind of them, uh, I don't know if Pampers is gonna be able to get there. Oh, what's up, Ace? Oh, you're replaying Pokemon Platinum, oh. Platinum is amazing. I have said for a while, I am pretty sure um, every Friday you can find a Lapras. Thanks, Brody. Okay. That's what I thought it was. I didn't know I, I didn't know if there was only one. Um, but I have pretty consistently said that even though Gen 2 is always going to be my favorite, Pokemon Crystal is probably my favorite game ever, um... I think Emerald and Platinum are the best Pokemon games. I think those two, if you're only ever going to play one Pokemon game ever, I would play one of those two. Um, oh, you're stuck in the you're stuck in the third gym. I'm so sorry. Oh, in Platinum, that's uh, Ghost, right? Because I know that it's the the Ghost gym is fifth in yes. Okay is 5th in Diamond and Pearl. Um, what's eating you up, the Miss Magius? Um, but, uh, yeah, now that I think about it here, though, I don't know if Pampras, even if we used every bit of experience to uh, get Pampras to level 36, I don't even know if it'll even get there, so... Um, Brody, I absolutely intend to play more Pokemon games after this. I um, have made it a point to say that I do want to play other games that are not Pokemon as well, but um, Pokemon's my bread and butter, baby. 
I'm always, I'm, my goal is to play pretty much all of them at some point. It might not be all in order, but I thought playing Gen 1 and Gen 2 were, like, really relevant just because 2 is, like, pretty much a sequel to 1 in many ways. Um, but, yeah, after this, we're going to play something a little different um, that I'm really excited about. I'm trying to keep it a little bit of a secret. I think someone kind of talked about it on stream. I've, I've mentioned it. Um, but uh, there is some overlap with Pokemon there, um, certainly. Um, let's see. Her last Pokemon, you have an Eevee, uh, but you want the Ice Eevee. You want uh, Glaceon. That's awesome. Um, I think in that game, you can get Glaceon like later in the game, like, uh, like around the 7th gym. Because there's an interesting mechanic in that game where um, Eevee got two new forms in Generation 4, but you have to evolve Eevee in very specific areas to get it to evolve um, into either an Ice Eevee, like you're talking about uh, Glaceon, or a Grass Eevee, Leafeon. I think... Uh, one of our friends from last stream was talking about uh, how their favorite evolution was Leafeon. And mine is Espeon, which is why we have one on the team. But yes, Brody, absolutely we'll play more Pokemon games after this. Um, let's see, War Turtle. Let's get into... Let's let Lucius take one. Wow, I just... Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Um, I just... Your favorite is Vaporeon, absolutely. Vaporeon is one of my faves as well. I kind of have like like a top tier and a second tier for Evolutions, and Vaporeon's in my in my top tier for sure. Love Vaporeon. But my my two all-time faves are Espeon and Jolteon. Um ba, ba, ba. Cool trainer Kelly. All right, so yeah, this route is kind of interesting because you can kind of go different ways. I'm going to go this way um, to fight some different trainers. Um, and something that you'll see me do, like there's that guy, that uh, karate trainer there. Um, you'll see me go down a couple of times. Oops, hello. Did you fight me? Oh, okay. Very interesting. He doesn't fight you automatically. You have to talk to him. Um... But yeah, there are a couple trainers that you can miss if you only go down once. So you'll probably see me fly back up to Blackthorn City and we can um, fight some of the trainers that we missed. Like there's a, a nice cool trainer on the right side that we didn't fight because we fought the hiker to the left. <laughs> yeah, I'm really trying to get Tech caught up here. Um... Let's see. Tech is kind of a specialist for us right now, but he does have a really good defenses, which we love to see. Um, it is a shame that they don't really give Heracross any fighting moves. Um, I've talked about that a little bit, um, and that's something that in... The first couple of generations, they don't really start remedying that until, like, Generation 4 or 5 or so. Um, more so in Generation 3. But um, there are a lot of Pokemon that just don't get um, attacking moves of their type. Because, um, you know, you have Heracross, which is a fighting type, which is super awesome. But it doesn't get any moves via level up to take advantage of that. Nice crit tech. Which is pretty annoying to see. Um, I remember in Generation 1, I think, um, Rhydon is a huge... Um, what's the word? Uh, <laughs> what is the word? <laughs> anyway, uh, Rhydon is a big example of this, where um, I'm pretty sure in Generation 1, even though Rhydon is a ground and rock type, it doesn't learn any ground or rock type moves via level up. 
Um, someone can fact check me on that, but I'm almost positive that's true, and that's insane. Um, actually, I'm gonna fact check myself. <laughs> Not Gwen one. There we go. Oh yeah, that's gonna kill. That'll kill a Diglett twice. That Surf from Lapras. <laughs> All right, Doug Trio. Doug Trio is a very hard hitting, very fast, but very slow. Or not slow. Very frail Pokemon. I literally just said it was fast. <laughs> um. Yeah, Rhydon in Generation One literally only learns normal type attacks. Doesn't learn any ground or um, rock attacks by level up. You can teach it. Uh, you can teach it earthquake. You can teach it dig. Um, can you? And you can teach it rock slide, but you can't teach it any actual. Or it doesn't learn any actual rock or ground attacks, which is silly, you know. Um, so, oh yeah, I forgot about the repel. If we head down here, this is Route 46. This is actually a route that we saw earlier in the game. If I hop down there, um, that will kind of start, that will connect us back down to New Bark Town, where we started, which is really cool. But I am going to pop over here and fight these two trainers. I don't know why these two trainers are only level, yeah, like 17. Um, hello, Loctess! What's up, Suggy Bang? <laughs> Good to see ya. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know why these trainers are level, like, 17 or whatever. Because I, you might be able to access them earlier than I am right now, but I only ever fight them after I get to Blackthorn City. Like, they're kind of trapped un under those ledges. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is an item we can just sell. And yeah, like this, she's got level 16. Let's see if a Swift will do the trick. We will. Love to see it. Um, these are great little... A little bit of fodder for tech, honestly. Gain a little bit of experience. Um, Ponyta, I think, is an underrated Pokemon. Ponyta and Rapidash, I think, are so simple but so cool. They're just a fire horse. That's dope. That is dope, man. All right, so that was kind of our first pass through that route, and yeah, I don't think Lapras is gonna be learning Ice Beam anytime soon. So I'm actually gonna go over, more over to the right here, and we're gonna fight this guy. I'm gonna save actually, um, but uh, okay. What are your thoughts on raising Pokemon? I like it. It's pretty fun. All right. Yes, I remember this guy has a Pidgeot. I love that Pidgeot sprite. You really get like a nice look at its <laughs> wonderful mane. Bird Jesus himself. I was just talking to my wife about Twitch plays Pokemon today. I actually don't remember that much about it, but I do know that they have Bird Jesus. Um, they are level 17 because it's just a Johto thing. They are non-worldwide for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot of the levels in Johto are so weird. Um, but I love it. It's my fave. Oh, I actually like this. I love this shirt. I love showing off my shirts. This is my Cleveland Guardian shirt. I love the cool little Guardian logo there. Um, even though my baseball team, one of their best players, is out for the season. It's very sad. Uh, okay, here with Electabuzz. You're here! What's up, Tech? Um, I have you right there. Can you see you? Right at the very top. Um, Electabuzz, we'll go with some NyQuil here. Um, let's see. Hit it with that Mud Slap. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot. Hearts! Don't hit me! Okay, Light Screen, that's fine. Um, even though that's not great, because I wanted to use Flame Wheel. Let's see how much it does. It might not do very much with a light screen up, and it does not. Oh! A Thunder Punch from an Electabuzz. That hurt a lot less than I thought it would, so that's good. Um, hopefully with some accuracy drops, it will not hit me. Alright, one more. Okay, great. Love to see it. 
Um, where are we? Um, we are south of Blackthorn City. Um, <laughs> did that Electabuzz maybe confuse you? Uh, yeah, there's this guy. He's got a Pidgeot and an Electabuzz. It's kind of like out of nowhere in Johto. But we are south of Blackthorn City. This is actually where I caught you. Uh, caught Tech the, uh, Tech the Skarmory. Um, let's see. Uh, what am I going to start with? I'm going to start with Lucius. Alright. So, we can hop down here and we can get into some of those fights that I might have missed. Um, so fitting. Uh, of course. Because I believe, yes, this guy... Actually, this will be great for Skarmory to fight. Ah, we'll start with... We'll, we'll start with Lucius. It's fine. Uh, we don't have any psychic moves, but we will resist fighting attacks. Org, you're like Chuck. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Chuck is hilarious. Chuck is. I love the gym leaders in Generation Two. Um, what a waste of a phone number this guy is. <laughs> it's so true. I I tend not to get phone numbers. Um, the only the only time I did was when we were going for the when we went for the Waterstone. Um, Warg! <laughs> ah, perfect. All right. So let's pop down here. I'm actually going to use Rapel. Um, and we can go to the right, because there's this guy hiding. Um, we'll go Pampers. And, you know, if, if we have... Pro problems with Claire, I can teach Pampras Icy Wind, but I just don't want to burn the TM, even though I'm not probably not going to use it. I, it just seems like a waste of a TM to use it when we're so close to getting Ice Beam and replacing it anyway. And maybe Icy Wind can come in handy somewhere else. Um, I believe this guy has a Golem too. I think he has the whole uh, Geodude line, which is cool. <laughs> Clone it. <laughs> That's funny. I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> I'm sure that I could semi-easily. Uh, he does indeed have a golem. Let's... I will just stay in. Hit it with that surf, it's a one-shot. It's just, it's kind of a shame that a lot of these rock grounds just get destroyed by just one little drop of water or touch of grass. Because golem is such a cool, fearsome Pokemon. Ride on, too. Um, ba -ba -da 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 -da. Okay, so let's let's get Margo up here in front. I don't know if there are any other trainers here that we can fight. There might be one along the left side. I always love this little this little pond down here with the mystery berry next to it. It's a very uh, very serene little spot in Johto. Very tranquil. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's, let's fly back up and see if there's any more trainers there on the left side. I'm gonna pop in here and heal really quick. Um, thanks for joining us tonight, folks. I was really looking forward to the stream tonight. Like I said, I had, uh, I had today off, so I was just kind of thinking about doing fun stuff like this. Ugh. Hold on. I want to pick up that elixir. Um, let me pop back up here to Blackthorn. Um, I did see the eclipse. It was so cool. Um, I was talking about it at the top. Um, oh yeah, I'll get rid of that max potion too. Um, oops, not. So freaking cool indeed. Like, it just, it became nighttime for a second. It was, and like, as the moon was starting to move over the sun, like, it, it did so for like, kind of like half hour, 20 minutes or so, kind of like slowly making its way over the sun. Um, you could feel everything just seemed off. Like there was kind of like a filter on everything. It was, it was weird. Like things were kind of like starting to go into shadow. Ah, there is one more trainer over here. Love to see it. Um, I am going to... Oh, the dogs all started barking? Yes, we were actually talking about that because 
we were kind of looking out our back balcony and where we live there's like a little there's like a little creek a little river that runs through our development um and we were just like what are the animals thinking right now they are probably like what is going on <laughs> they're probably freaking out i'm gonna try to rage this onyx to death because i don't really have any good moves let's see if i can make my rage ah it's a rage off <laughs> who can be more angry <laughs> um i was thinking like probably the animals were just like what is happening um, it might... My rage is building. His rage is building. There we go. Love to see it. Oh, and he broke out of his rage. What a loser. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. Lapras does learn Parish Song at 29. I do have it on my Lapras right now. I'm going to keep it for sure. That could come in handy later in the game. Um, I don't care to keep saying that much. Like, sleep is really good, but usually if I want to status something, I'll usually hit it with the glare. Let's see. Last time there were eclipse, everything got all lukewarm and creepy. Yeah, it's it was it was spooky. It it definitely was, um, especially kind of in that like quiet like filter leading up to it, like I talked about. It was crazy. Wahaha! I'm the big loser. You sure are, man. But you're not. You're a winner. You're a winner in your heart. You had fun. It's all about having fun here. All right. So let's pop down here. Yes, that is the last of the trainers on this route. Ooh, a Gliger, hello. Um, I'm actually going to knock this Gliger out because I want to get Margot to level 33. Um, I think I want to get everybody to level 33 before we go into Claire's gym. That's fine. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, with that, I'm pretty sure that at this point we have defeated all of the... Um, trainers in Johto. I'm pretty sure at least all the trainers we have access to. Um, let's see. And that's one thing that's tough um, about Generation 2 is that uh, like what you're gonna see, we're like as you can see, we are at level 32, 33 and that's really, you know not, not splitting up our experience too much. Um, uh, that is the one guy. We went up and fought, um, the other people at the Lake of Rage, but that is the one guy that I have not fought yet. Okay, great call, Tech. Um, uh, guess this track again. Let's do it, baby. Hmm. Hold on, folks, I'm just gonna write something down. Uh. Oh, yes! Got to just listen to that music real quick. Um, oh, yeah, great. So we have Tech here, and Tech needs to get to level 33. So this one guy that's got some Gyarados, um, I think, is the last trainer we have left to fight. That'll be really good for Tech. Um, I actually really like Venonat and Venomoth. They are kind of like an underappreciated Pokemon. They're just not very good. Um, hello, sir. You're in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace. Ah, uh, this is timing up nicely, I think. So we can defeat this guy, and we can get into Claire's gym to give her a fight. Oh, what I was saying before was, yes, as you can see, this guy has some Gyarados. Um, this one's only at level 10, which is interesting. The thing with the experience in Johto is that there really isn't that much available. Um, there might be like one trainer, like one or two trainers in Mount Mortar. I, we, we might go in there. Um, we'll probably do that on a later stream. Um, but uh, there's not that much experience to go around. And, as you'll see when we fight Claire, her ace is at level 40. So we are a little bit underleveled. And, uh, we were definitely a little bit underleveled in Pokemon Yellow when we took on the Elite Four. Um, but one thing that you'll kind of... Excuse me. One thing that you'll kind of notice is that 
Um, I feel like being under leveled hurt a little bit less in Generation 1 in many ways. Uh, because the move sets weren't quite as good, um, and some of the AI isn't quite as good. Um, so there's that fella. Let's pop over here to Blackthorn City. I just wanna, oops, not there. I would just love to get tech to level 33 um, before we hopped into Claire's gym. Uh, but I might get over it. You know what, I'll just, okay. Cause this is just gonna take forever. And you guys don't need to see me just grinding on here. So we're just gonna pop over to her gym real quick. Um, sorry, I'm using a lot of speed up there, folks. I know some of y'all don't like it, but sometimes it just kind of helps get us through the tedium a little bit and get on with it. Um, let's see. And I won't have it for every game that I end up playing on here, but how I'm playing this on an emulator, you kind of have access to speed up. So, if you recall from last stream, we actually did defeat, um, yes, uh, yeah, because if you want to grind up in Johto, you kind of have to grind against wild Pokemon a lot of the time. Um, and like I was about to do, I'm like, ah, you guys don't want to see that. Uh, but if you recall, we, uh, worked our way through all the trainers in Claire's gym, but we have not fought Claire herself. Mm. Oh, at least Bruno's ace doesn't have no guard, like in Heart Gold Soul Silver. You are exactly right about that. Um, let's see. So, we saved the game. I don't know what I want to lead with right now. Um, I think Pampris could be a pretty good counter against her ace, even though it doesn't have any ice moves. Um... We'll start with Sinaiquil, actually. Sinaiquil's not going to be terribly useful in this fight. Um, we'll see what we can do. All right, I'm going to save one more time because I'm an anxious person. Oh, I love Claire. She's awesome. Let's do it. I am Claire, <laughs> the world's best Dragon Master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do it. As a gym leader, I will use my full power against any opponent. Anxiety gang, that's right, baby! <laughs> um, Alright, so, Leader Claire wants to battle. She also has a cape. Hmm, who else has a cape? Alright. So we have this level 37 Dragonair. One thing that you will notice about Claire is that she has three Dragonairs. And that was pretty unlucky hit. Woot woot! Uh, that was pretty unlucky hit there. Um, okay, this one no surf. So Sinaiquil is not going to be doing super hot. Um, she has three Dragonairs, and they all kind of have a different moveset. I believe one of them knows Surf, one of them knows Thunderbolt, and one of them knows Ice Beam, if I'm not mistaken. So, they can be pretty crazy. Uh, let's go into Margo for this one. Oh, <laughs> the two hardest gym leaders have a tantrum when you beat them. That is so true. Um, you will see soon enough, folks. Um, we are going to... <laughs> yes. I don't know where I really want to go in here. We'll go into Lucius. Our matchups are kind of weird. We're really just kind of like neutral against everything. Love to see that flinch. We do have the King's Rock on Lucius, so that kind of helps the bite flinch a little bit extra. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. You'll love to see some flinch hacks. Nice. Good work, Lucius. All right. Dragonair. I'm going to stay in. Maybe we can work more of that flinch magic. Um, again, I really like having Bite on Lucius. I really like having um, Shadow Ball on Lucius. It's some good coverage against Psychic Pokemon. Um, because Lucius, as a Psychic himself, resists Psychic attacks, but can deal super effective damage to Psychics. So we're actually, we're actually holding our own pretty well here. If we can 
We should be able to live one more slam, I think. Okay, yes. And great. Awesome, Lucius. Great job. So our boy Lucius is really doing it here against Claire. Um, I will probably... Hmm, ah, <laughs> for old time's sake, <laughs> we'll take out Lucius. Um, I'll put in tech. I don't know. This could be the Thunderbolt Dragonair. I don't think either one would be particularly good for Skarmory. Uh, the one thing they all have is Thunder Wave, and Thunder Wave is so annoying, especially if you're using Fly. Okay, good. Because it just gives you an extra chance to get uh, paralyzed and not be able to move. So... Okay. Steel does resist ice. Um, which is why it's neutral on Skarmory. I wasn't sure. Uh, I was about to say, that did a lot of damage. Um, let's try to do a fly. We'll see if Tech can finish this, uh, finish this Dragonair. One good thing is that since we're paralyzed, Ice Beam cannot freeze us. This should kill it, I think. Nice! Awesome, Tech. Hmm. Good work, dude. All right. Claire is about to use her ace, Kingdra. Hells yeah, man! Um, Kingdra is such a cool Pokemon. It is an evolved form of Seedra. Look at that thing so cool um, that they made special for Generation 2 and made it like more of like a sea dragon kind of like a, like a like a more souped up seahorse really really cool um, resistance beast you are absolutely right so my plan here with Margo I think it's going to work pretty well is we are going to try to hit a glare if we can nice oh that quick that quick claw baby he looks wise somehow. I think you're right. Yes, very wizened, much uh, much stronger, much uh, full of wisdom. Kingdra is a very well-rounded Pokemon. Has very little, few weaknesses. Um, he truly is a king. That's right. Um, she. That's true. This one is a she. It literally says. <laughs> Kingdra. She. Her. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. I lost my train of thought. Oh, yes. What we're going to do is... Sorry, Queen. <laughs> it's all right. Um, we are going to try to get a screech off. Yeah, they did do those couple of smoke screens. Um, so we have the paralysis on Kingdra to make her slower. Hopefully we can land a screech. I would love if we could. Okay, we're not going to. Uh, the plan was to hit the screech to lower... Um, her defense by two stages, which would have been great um, because we have a strong physical attacker that we can go into Rupert here, which we are going to. Um, and then we have Lapras there kind of as our safety net um, because it can resist a lot of what Kingdra is going to try to do to us. And I'm hoping we can get a defense drop with Rock Smash. It's kind of, there we go. There we go. That's why I'm going for it. Um, let's see. <laughs> Three Dragonairs is almost like having two dragons in a game with two dragon specialists. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's not, still not a lot of dragons to choose from. Kingdra is the only new dragon type Pokemon that they added in Generation 2. Um, other than Kingdra, it's still just uh, Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite. Um, now with two defense drops, uh, that's smoke screens. Um, this Kingdra can get pretty trolly like that, but I think with a couple defense drops, we should be able to get rid of it here soon. Um, one more hit will do it. Fully paralyzed. Finish it off, Rupert. Let's do it. Ah! The Hyper Potion. You ruined my moment. Very annoying. And we're missing. What is happening? Okay, good. Yes, this was a nice team effort, honestly. Really, at this point, Kingdra is not going to be able to do too much to us. I also don't know why it's not really attacking us, really into lowering our accuracy. Must have sensed that the end was near. Desperation heave. Ha! Ah. Leader Claire was defeated. I lost. I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. Uh, no, I was there.
SCG got 8,000, baby. Uh, we did get some good luck with Skarmory. Okay, so now, uh, someone was talking about this. Um, how, yes, Brody, you were talking about this. Claire just goes, I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon User Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called the Dragon's Den. There is a small shrine in its center. Go there. If you can prove that you've lost your lazy ideals, ooh, I will recognize you as a trainer worthy of a gym badge. And then she goes, what's the matter? Is it too much to expect of you? I'm like, dang, girl. She's scary. Um, but yeah, Brody was saying how, like, when you defeat the two toughest gym leaders, which kind of, like, very known within the community, Claire and Whitney are the two toughest gym leaders, neither one will just give you the badge. They have to just throw a tantrum. Um, Alright, so we are going to heal here, and something else that we are going to do is that when we get into the Dragon's Den, we are going to need to use the HM4 Whirlpool. Um, that's actually how you get into the Whirl Islands as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and deposit Rupert for now. There are a couple trainers in the Dragon's Den, but Rupert, the worst HM, you are so right. Whirlpool is not a very good move, so what we're going to do is we are going to take Drago here. Um, this is something that I usually do. There are two water HMs that I don't really like. There's Whirlpool and Waterfall. Waterfall's a fine move. Um, you can use it. I just don't like to waste two slots on Surf and Waterfall. But if I'm not using the Red Gyarados in a playthrough, I will usually just catch it and teach it Whirlpool and Waterfall. Because um, those are two that you need. I'll get real bite. And then I'll teach him Waterfall as well. Yeah. The Red Gyarados is kind of just like a... Just an HM user on this squad. Um, <laughs> Tentacruel is the best water HM user? Yeah. Um, Tentacruel can actually use them all. That is, that is one that I will use in Gen 3. Um, Kingdra didn't attack because they are pacifists. Well, how about that? Um, not very good at winning a Pokemon battle, but I respect it. <laughs> uh, we'll start with Tech in the Dragon's Den. Alright. Ah, uh, so this is gonna kind of, like, take us to a nice little spot in our stream tonight. Um, we are going to hop into the Dragon's Den and we are going to get our badge. Gosh darn it. Um, so we can hop in this lake behind the gym, which I love that there's this cool patch of water, like, surrounding the gym. I just think that's a cool little setup. Um, and here's the dragon's den. Dragon's den ahead. What does this guy say? If Claire allows it, her grandfather, our master, will also, you may enter. Yes, I think this guy is standing in front of the entrance Sorry, this track is just so interesting and so unlike anything else. I just love it. Um, and then this guy fights you the moment you walk in. Um, yeah, I think that guy is standing in front of the entrance until you beat Claire. Um, <laughs> yeah, she was mad that Kingdra wouldn't attack. I would be too. Um, oh, I'm so glad that Rap does not work in this game like it does in Generation 1. Because Rap kind of hurts you as you go. But in Generation 1, oh... That is a terrible fly miss. Oh, you hate to see it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, but those wraps are gonna make it that we can't take another Dragon Rage, so we'll have to swap tech out. But in generation one, if a Pokemon is faster than you, it can just use wrap and basically make it that you can't attack. Ooh, actually, I don't know. Can I swap out if I'm being wrapped? I can't. That is okay. I am not going to let Tech die. I'm going to give it a potion. Um, I'll save our Moomoo Milk. It's a special. It's for a special occasion. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, good. Release from the wrap. Um, I'm actually going to sw swap out because... Um, 
yeah, not going to be able to tank many more Dragon Rages very well. Um, ugh. At the early parts of the game, Dragon Rage is an incredible move because it does that guaranteed 40 uh, hit points. This part of the game is still good, uh, but as the game kind of goes on, it becomes a little bit more obsolete, I suppose. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, ba -ba. Strong! Oh no! <laughs> oh, a calcium! Oh, I can actually give um, a calcium to another one of our Pokemon that's not our Eevee. I'm going to give it to Sinaquil. Love it! Um, so, the Dragon's Den here... There are a couple little areas, like there are a couple trainers here. I believe she has like horses and Cedras, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I was kind of saying, it is weird going through this playthrough without any grass or electric attacks. Um, we are going to get access to... Oh my gosh! So here, uh, horses is using Whirlpool. It kind of functions a lot like Wrath, where it's kind of like a weak move, kind of hurts you as you go. But Skarmory just keeps missing fly. There we go. Very annoying. I'm gonna have to do the same thing. Uh, Alright. Something that people will do a lot of the time um, when they play these games is that they will give themselves the challenge to not use items. Don't flinch. Okay, good. Um, because items do make the game a lot easier. Um, just in a casual playthrough, I, I tend to try to not use items, but if we're in like a situation like that where it's just annoying, there's no real reason to let Skarmory faint. I'll, I'll pop a potion. Um, just kind of improve the uh, quality of life of our gameplay a little bit. Alrighty. I would love for Tech to get another good attacking move. I might kind of inspect to see what TM Skarmory can learn. Alright. Seedra. For this... Ugh. I know. You see... Brody's talking about Mareep. Um... I would love to use Mareep also, but in Crystal you can't catch it. Oh, it's very interesting that the... Whoa. That the Horsey and Cedra use the two HMs we just taught Gyarados. Um, okay, that was a critical hit, so I'm hoping this doesn't kill me. It did. It did kill me. How sad. Alright. Our team's kind of getting wrecked a little bit in here. Um, but yeah, uh, Mareep is not available in Pokemon Crystal. You can, I think you can only catch it in silver. You might, you, I think you can catch it in gold, maybe, also. I know you can catch it in silver. Um, but, uh, there are remakes of this game. I'm gonna give Margo a revive really quick, um, just cause that annoyed me. Um, yeah, both. Okay, cool. Thanks, Tech. Um, we're gonna start with Sinaiko. I believe these two girls have two Dratinis, if I'm not mistaken. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. But yeah, Marie, for some dumb reason, is not available in Crystal version. Um, so here, we're kind of like closing in on our hour. It's, it's, it's really flown on by, gang. It's been such a fun time. Um, but there should be just enough time to actually do this little quest in the Dragon's Den, get our badge, and then we can call it a night. Oh, Flamethrower on this Dratini. Not a great move to use against my, my Lava, but that's annoying. Quick Attack! Yeah! That is one great thing about having a priority move. Paralysis, I believe, halves your attack. Um, so... Um, we'll use Margo, because I use a revive on her. But having that priority move is a great way to bypass that paralysis. I did not mean to use Rage. Um, I'm just yapping away, not paying attention. Um, 
Burn halves your attack. Okay. Um, and nice, Margo. There we go. Oh, guys, one thing I meant to do. You can get a, a TM for the move Return on Sundays. I meant to do that yesterday, but I forgot. Uh, that would have been great on Margo or even Skarmory, but... Oh, well, maybe next Sunday I'll grab it. Um, did I know that Miltank has a higher speed than Suicune? I did not know that exactly. I knew that Miltank had a ridiculous speed. Like, it didn't make much sense how fast it was. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it for the trainers in here. I'm going to pop a save here. So here's our first use of Whirlpool, as you can see. A Whirlpool is in the way. Want to use Whirlpool? Absolutely. And it just goes away. It's nothing too fancy in this game. It looks a lot fancier in other games. So here, that's where we want to go. But first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pop over here. There's one other item. In gold and silver, you actually don't have to go in that little house. There's no door to go in it. Um, you just have to get this item, the Dragon Fang, which is very interesting that they decided to change it for Crystal, but I do love that. Um, on the same speed as Entei does Miltank have. That's crazy. Um, they just really cracked that thing out for, uh, for Whitney. Um, okay. So the Dragon Fang is an interesting item. It, uh, powers up Dragon-type moves. That's not something that we're really going to be using, um, because there aren't a lot of Dragon-type moves to use. Um, but Claire will give us a Dragon-type TM, so who knows? So, we walk in here. Very cool, very mysterious. Hmm, good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I am sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry, you are to answer only a few questions. Ready? I am. What are Pokemon to you? So, this guy asks you a handful of questions, and this is how I always answer them. I always say, friend. Oh, I understand. <laughs> Slaves. <laughs> that, come on. <laughs> That's not what we're supposed to say. Uh, what helps you win battles? I say strategy. Oh, I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? I say anybody. Oh, I understand. <laughs> Savagery. <laughs> what is most important for raising Pokemon? Love. Ugh. Oh, ain't it? Violence. <laughs> Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon? Weak Pokemon? Which is more important? I say both. No one's left behind. Hmm, I see. You care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. That conviction is what is important. SEG, don't lose that belief. It will see you through at the Pokemon League. We have this special track here. I don't know if this plays anywhere else in the game. It's pretty neat. Um, let's see. So how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail. What? You passed? That can't be. The music did drop out here. You're lying. Even I haven't been approved. Claire, this child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or must I inform Lance of this? Oh, boy. Ooh. <laughs> Take that, stupid idiot. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and thanks for the, the great dance compliment. Oh, I understand, says Claire. Here, take this. This is Rising Badge. Hurry up, take it. So Claire is kind of like our friend Peepee. -Pee, our rival. <laughs> For those who don't know who Peepee -Pee is. Um, where she does not treat her Pokemon with enough love and trust. And she's not approved by the Dragon People. What can you do? Rising Badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls, which we will use later. Also, all Pokemon will recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. What up, dude? Claire, reflect upon what it is that you lack and this child has. And she goes to reflect. I respect it. Um, come again if you so desire. I'm pretty sure 
that guy will actually... <laughs> her new name is Poo Poo. That's funny. <laughs> um, this guy will actually give you a special Dratini that knows the move Extreme Speed. Oh, here's that music again. Um, so here's Claire. She's like, I'm sorry. I, I, was a bit, I was a bit heated earlier. This is my apology. So here is the TM for Dragon Breath. It is a Dragon-type move that can paralyze the opponent. Um, she does have a little funny line here. That contains Dragon Breath. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. <laughs> I just thought that was always cute. What's the matter? Aren't you going up to the Pokemon League? Do you know how to get there? From here, go to New Bark Town, then surf east to the Pokemon League. Awesome! So you kind of go from where you start. It's a lot like Gen 1. The route there is very tough. Don't you dare lose at the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it everything you've got. Thanks, Claire. She redeems herself a little bit. I'm pretty sure this guy... Does he give you the Dragon Dratini now? Hmm, good to see you here. Your revival is most fortunate. I have something for you. Take this Dratini as proof that I have recognized your worth. Okay, so my party is full, um, so I can't get the Dratini right now, which is fine. Um, we... Do I have an escape rope? Yeah, I'm just going to use that. So... Um, oh yeah, Professor Elm calls you the moment you leave. Hello, SCG. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Um, so, what that guy gives you is he gives you a special Dratini. I think it's only at level 5. Um, but it knows the move Extreme Speed, which is a really, really great move. It is like Quick Attack in that... <laughs> that was the weirdest burp of all time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow. Um, it is a lot like Quick Attack in that it is a normal priority move. Um, but it does like 80 power, I think. So it's a really strong Quick Attack. It's a really, really good move. Um, and if you kind of like take the time to grind up that Tratini, it could become a very good member of your squad. We're not going to do that because I don't feel like it. And that would take a lot of time. But with that, I think we're going to call it here. We will visit Professor Elm in our next stream, um, and we will make our way to the Pokemon League. I can't believe it. Oh, I feel like we just started this. Oh, Dratini, absolutely. <laughs> I feel like we just started this game, uh, but it's been so much fun. I've loved... Yeah, lock test. I have loved playing it with you guys. Um, I'm going to pop a save real quick. Um, if you're catching this later on YouTube, thanks for watching. Um, you can like, you can, can subscribe, you can comment. I love talking to people in the comments, answering and replying. It's been it's been really fun um, replying to some of those every day. But with that, I will leave you there. There's a chance we stream tomorrow. Um, if not, it's probably looking like Thursday. But hopefully, I will see some of you there when we do decide to stream. And with that. Peace out, kids. See you later, guys.